morning, Chevy. Good morning, Chevy. You sleep good? You sleep good? I slept great. I had a really long night. So today began with being stuck. It was fun. Yeah, we got pulled out by a John Deere. <laughs> so I got to clean up my whole back end here. I had to pull out my hook. That allows me to get pulled out. Couldn't find it. So I had to tear everything apart to find it. Still didn't find it. Ah. Oh no, we need to vacuum this. I have one hairy monster with me this trip. A hairy monster, his name is Chevy. Harry, you should have called you Harry. More fitting, you know? It's springtime, so he's shedding, shedding like a dog. Crazy. What are you, some kind of animal? All right. You've already had your breakfast. I've already done my pre-trip. I've already vacuumed 10 times. Here we go. That's the consequence of having a shedding dog with you in the truck. You gotta be okay with hair and dirt. He tracks in a lot of dirt and he leaves his hair everywhere. Okay, so uh, I've done my pre-trip already. I just gotta go and grab a coffee. We'll be on our way. We have till Monday to get to Chicago. It is one dry, one day's drive away, and it's Friday. I'm thinking of going to Mauston, Wisconsin. Stopping at their quick trip. Have I told you this already? I think I told you this yesterday, right? Stopping at their quick trip there. Across the street is uh, a Snap Fitness that I can go and hang out at we'll see my body needs to go back to the gym it, it's I'm craving it I think I'm addicted well let's see how bad these highways are today they should be pretty good now probably just be very wet and messy there we go Oh yeah, much better. Looks like they totally cleared them off and salted them. So we can take our time now. Focus on fuel economy. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> yes! Get those out of the way. Well, I don't even need these. Give you 154 kilometers on 994 East. Wonderful. So I stopped at a new gym today. I was gonna wait till I was down in Mauston and stop at the quick trip there and then walk across the street to Snap Fitness. And I might still do that tonight, but I went to a new location for Snap Fitness in Melrose, Minnesota. It was actually a decent gym. It was just a tiny gym, but it's very clean, well-maintained. And for half the time, I was the only one in there. And I know they have this rule that they told me, oh, you know, you're not supposed to bring cameras in there, take pictures, but that's mostly because that could make other gym members feel uncomfortable, right? You don't, a lot of people are self-conscious when they're in there. That's, they're in the gym to improve themselves because they're not happy with themselves a lot of the time, right? So they don't want their pictures taken when they're all sweaty. And, you know what I mean? Well, I don't like it if you take cameras in there. So I've, you know, been polite and left my camera in the truck every time I go to the gym. But I'm thinking, if I'm the only one in the gym, is anyone really gonna care if I bring, because I'd like to include that part in the vlog. I'd like to show you my workout routine. And you know, maybe it would inspire some of you. Or maybe you just wanna watch me lift stuff up and put it back down, I don't know. But I think that the next time I go to a gym and I'm the only one in there, I'm gonna bring the camera with and 
vlog in there. Like, what, what's Snap Fitness gonna do? Are they gonna kick me out of the club? I still pay my membership. I'm not putting anybody else on the camera. I'm just putting me on the camera and their like equipment in the background. I don't think that, that they'd have a problem with that. Do you think? I don't know. I'm gonna do next time I'm in there. Usually when I go late at night, I'm usually in there by myself. So I'm gonna be in Moss in Wisconsin tonight. That's where I'm gonna spend the night, I think. And uh, if I do end up going for a second round of workouts tonight, I'm gonna bring you guys with. Because while I'm in there, I'm. I got my machines that I go to and I got my routine. It takes me about an hour to get through my routine. Unless if I want to do some cardio, then you add like 45 minutes to an hour on top of that yet. But for the most part, I've just been focusing on strength training right now and uh, a little bit of cardio here and there, but I've been trying to get myself into shape because you never know when you're going to need to be in shape and when everything's gonna hit the fan, you know? You never know. It could be any time. This is a crazy world and you want to be ready for anything. So I've been working hard at getting myself into shape and I've been seeing progress. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Uh, I wouldn't usually talk about my own progress because I don't want to sound like I'm bragging about myself. But my wife noticed it too and she mentioned that, uh, yeah, I am, I am making progress. Shoulders are getting wider, bigger. Uh, my muscles are getting more defined. I mean, I'm not making crazy steps forward. I'm not going to turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything here. I'm not trying to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. I just want to be in shape and I want to be ready. Ready for anything, you know? So I'm preparing myself. I'm not too sure what I'm preparing myself for yet. But I just got this feeling I should just... I should just be in shape. I should just be ready for something. Just be ready for anything. And it's good for your health too, and you know, it helps you live longer. So that's where I was this morning. And while I was stopped there, I took my uh, half hour break right away as well. After that, I stopped there and I watched my wife, uh, Britt, her newest video on Britt's Beat. Are you guys subscribed to her channel yet? She has an actual really good viewership rate. Like, she often gets more views on her videos than she has subscribers. It's amazing. Imagine if I did that. That'd be like getting 100,000 views per video for me. She gets more views than she has subscribers. So that's really cool. So if you want to go and check out her channel, it's, you know, her story uh, from her perspective. The link is down below in the description. She just posted this awesome video about uh, fertility. We had a fertility appointment. And we're on a journey to get pregnant and have a baby. Uh, we're trying to uh, trying to get pregnant, trying to get her pregnant. I can't get pregnant. <laughs> then again, some people might argue with that in clown world, <laughs> but uh, you get what I mean, right? So uh, if you want to go check out our journey towards getting uh, having a baby and stuff, and get a little bit more. Go down below to the description, click on her channel and subscribe to her channel. She actually makes really good videos. I was so amazed at how quickly she caught on to this editing thing and the last video she made uh, was really great. It was a great storyline. It flowed really well. Had a great ending. Go check it out. From Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Stop here for some fuel. We're going to go another hour down the road to Mauston, right where we we're thinking of going. I've sort of been debating back and forth all day, but I've decided I'm going to stop in Mauston for my reset. Get there tonight around 8:30 uh, ish, nine o'clock or so. And uh, my Snap Fitness gym is right across the street from there. Quick Trip has everything a trucker could ever want inside their truck stop. It's a nice lot. I'm not sure how their Wi-Fi is though. Uh, I'll have to check once I'm there. On Sunday, I'm planning on going down to the the Petro in Rochelle, Illinois. My friend Will Kaler, who also drives truck, drives a tanker, he told me about that truck stop, and it's pretty much on my way to my customer in Montgomery. So it should work out just perfect. We'll get my reset, and as soon as I'm reset, uh, I guess it'd be on Sunday. Then turn right on North Water and we'll just quickly go down the extra two and a half, three hours to Rochelle and they'll, they'll have good internet there, I'm hoping. It's a petrol, right? So I'm not sure how 
their Wi-Fi is. I don't stop there very often, but that way I'm just only like a half hour, 45 minutes down the road from my from my delivery Monday morning. I can stay in a nice safe lot and I don't have to stay too close to the city of Chicago. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want to stay too close to Chicago. Not a good idea to spend the night in Chicago if you don't have to. Especially at the truck stops. You know, it's well, not the greatest record in the world, <laughs> that city. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of nice, safe places in the city. Lots of them. Just not very many where you can get a truck to. Let's get back on I-94 here. Perfect timing. There's no traffic. There we go. One hour left. Continue 48 kilometers on I-94 East. Chevy, we're all settled in here. My gym is just across the street over there. And I got two workouts in today. I went to the gym there in Minnesota this morning and here in Mauston, Wisconsin this evening. Double whammy, Chevy. Double whammy. Careful, man. You're going to hurt someone with those guns, Dad. I know, right? No? You were just joking? Well, don't give me that look. <laughs> so uh it's been a good day uh but it's time to wrap it up we're here till sunday afternoon now and it's friday night so all day tomorrow yet so maybe i'll continue uh continue this vlog into tomorrow we'll see anyways i'm gonna sit down here edit some videos play some video games maybe watch a, a movie or something and watch a lot of youtube i can tell you that much i got a lot of youtube to catch up on Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's really important to me and uh, it helps me out a lot when you do that. I know that a half of you watching aren't subscribed. So if you go down below, do that favor for me. We're trying to get the channel up to 100,000. It's free, doesn't cost you anything and does help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.